Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is part 5 of our Python tutorial series. In this part, we will learn about radio buttons in Python. So let's start. First, I will remove this code which we have created in our previous tutorial. So I'll remove all of it. So now we have imported this uh, ticket uh, and um, so I'll create here root equals uh, tk uh, this one and uh, now parenthesis now I will use root uh, dot geometry geometry and it will become uh, 200 comma 150 then I will create a frame frame equals frame and here I'll pass the root and uh, now I'll use frame dot bake and uh, now if I run this you will see that the frame will be created now it is showing us an error because here we do not have a comma we have a cross here now if I run it again Again, it is not showing up because we have uh, not uh, root dot uh, main loop. And now, if I run this, now you can see it, uh, that a frame is created, which is uh, I will increase the size to 300 cross uh, 300. So that it looks good. So, if I run it again. Now the size of the frame will be a bit bigger. Now it's uh, I'll make this one two and five and zero. And now if I run it again, now now it's looking good. Now below this uh, frame dot pack, I will create a variable where uh, one or uh, var one equals string war and now here down here I will create a radio button now here I will use our button equals radio button and now here I'll pass in the master at the root frame so I'll use frame comma and here I will use the text so the text is equal to um, radio uh, or I will use mail and uh, now here I will use variable equals var1 and comma value equals one and now here I will use our button I'll make this uh, one and button one so at the top here I will make it uh, I'll use one here as well one and dot peg uh, and I will use pad x equals Five and uh, comma pad y equal to five and uh, now if I run this application now you can see a mail radio button which is which is already checked on this uh, form now I'll create another one so I simply copy this. and uh, paste it here and then paste it again and now I'll make this uh, 2 here the text value will be uh, female so F E and I'll make this and this value will be 2 and uh, I'll make this uh, 
way as well and I'll make this 3 and uh, this uh, will also become 3 and this will become this text will become others and this will become this value will become 3 and now if we run this application now the application is running and as we can see that all the uh, uh, radio buttons are selected or checked so let's fix this for that I have to make this uh, end and for and now if I run this now you can see that uh, none of this uh, uh, radio button is selected now or oh, on this uh, on the selection of this uh, radio button now we will show something so for that I will close it down and uh, come here to the top and create a function diff uh, show and here I'll use a uh, uh, message box dot show info and here I will use a uh, um, title equals uh, um, radio uh, value and comma and here I will use message uh, equals uh, war one dot get and it will get the value the integer value now if I uh, come here and I will use uh, command equals and here I will uh, call this show uh, and here I will also use command equals show and here I will also use comma command equals show and now if I run the application now it is showing this because we have parentheses here so if I remove these parentheses from here uh, and this as well and now if I run this and now if I check this now you can see one is shown now if I check this now you can see two is shown and now if I check this now you can see three is shown so similarly you can get uh, the values of these uh, radio buttons from these buttons and alternatively I can use uh, a switch statement here in the show method and uh, in which I uh, I can get this uh, the value of this var uh, one dot get and when it, it is one I can show a message box uh, which is showing male and if it is two then I can show female and if it is three then I can show uh, others so that's all for today. I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please like, subscribe, and comment. Let's run it again. And let's click on this first button. So that's all for today. Thank you.